This video will show you how to reference variables in an R data frame. So I've got my R markdown document open. My first step is I want to read in the IRIS data set. Um, and so there is a data set already packaged in the R software uh, that's called IRIS. And to do that, I'm going to use data and then in parentheses, IRIS. And you can see R Studio is trying to be smart and recognizing what we're trying to type. So I can click that. So I have data iris. Um, I want to read that data in, so I'm going to run uh, the chunk of code by hitting the play button. And you can see it added something up here in the upper right in my environment. My next thing is I want to print the iris data set to my screen. And so to do this, I can simply type iris. Um, and again, um, our studio tries to be smart and recognize what I want to type. So I hit iris and then the play button. And what you can see here is um, all the data that is printed to my screen. So I can scroll up. Uh, there are 150 rows of data in the iris data set. I have um, the sepal length, uh, the sepal width, the petal length, and the petal width here, um, in addition to what species. In this case, we have three different species in our iris data set. Another way to look at the data set is to look and open up the um, spreadsheet uh, tool up here in the upper right. So you can double click on that. Uh, and here you see really what you might see in something like Excel. Here's the kind of more traditional spreadsheet view of the data. And so two ways to look at the data. Um, so our next step, we'll scroll down. We want to print the petal width variable from the iris data set to my screen. And so when I printed the data set, I got all of the variables in that data set, all five variables. But now I just want to print the petal width variable. And so to do that, in R, um, we can first type the data set name, uh, in our case it's iris, and then use a dollar sign. So dollar sign is going to represent, we want to print a variable from a data set. And so in this case, from the iris data set, dollar sign, pedal width. And so this will only print out the pedal widths from the, ir from the iris data set. And so we can do that. And you can see uh, we saw it kind of in a column format before, but now we have all of the pedal widths in the iris data set. And there should be 150 values, and it's just spitting out those values. So what if we wanted to do now, uh, make a new variable that adds sepal length and sepal width measurements to make a new variable in the iris data set. Now, as it turns out, um, the value for sepal length plus sepal width is not very biologically meaningful, but for our purposes, uh, we'll just write the code uh, to make that new variable. So we're going to make a new variable in the iris data set. So we're going to type iris dollar sign and then our new variable name. So let's call it sepal dot L W for sepal length and width. And so we're going to store it as a new um, variable. So we'll do a left caret and a hyphen. And we're going to do iris dollar sign sepal length. So take sepal length from the iris data set. And then we're going to add to it um, the sepal width or iris dollar sign sepal width. And so now this will make my new variable um, that I'll call sepal.lw. And then I might want to print it. So again, if I want to print the variable, uh, I do iris dollar sign sepal.lw will print that new variable that I made. So I can hit the play button. And you can see it ran uh, that line of code. Uh, and then it's printing out all of those sepal values for sepal length plus sepal width. The value doesn't mean anything, but that's how we might make a new variable um, in R. The important thing is it's data set dollar sign variable name. 